previously on Age of the Living Dead. How did I get here? I carried you. Welcome to the Haven. We launch a first strike on the East Coast. We could effectively wipe the vampire population clean from the planet. She's one of the creatures that killed your mother. I got her right here. You have not told us. One does not forget their daughter is missing. Oh. How is she even doing? Oh my god. She's one of them. Do I sound the alarm? No, find my son. General Armstrong, we need a team out there. Okay, but if they did launch. It's a prelude to war. Shouldn't we have cleaned this first? What about contamination? You don't catch anything by touching the blood. You gotta be bitten. All right. What's the plan then? Well, she's important. You don't put a piece of tech like that in someone unless there's something. Well, there's no use driving across the desert with the tracker. Why don't we just leave it in her arm? Max, you ever fished? What? You know, fished. Fishing. You got a lake with a rod. I don't like the smell. The point is, is I lost a lot of Sundays with my old man fishing. It's beautiful and serene, quiet, but there's an art to it. We used to go fishing all the time with my dad's friend, Roy, but he wouldn't catch anything ever, not once. Uh, okay. So one day I asked my dad, hey dad, why doesn't Roy ever catch anything? <laughs> my dad laughs. He says Roy's cheap. He has a cheap car, cheap beer, and he uses cheap bait. You want to catch a big fish, you going to use the best bait you got. I get it. So what's the bait? We are. We need to contain the danger and protect the wider world. We must ensure that the United States is quarantined so that it cannot pose a threat to the rest of humanity. The ships attempting to cross the Atlantic had to be destroyed to protect our way of life. One stray vampire would result in the annihilation of our entire population. We must close our borders close our hearts and do the right thing to ensure the survival of our world. America may be contained for now, but we must be vigilant. History may very well judge us harshly for this act, but for the rest of the world to survive, we must remove the cancerous element from our body. Um, Madam President. Andrew, how do you sleep? Excuse me? How do you sleep? Badly, always. Why? Yesterday, I visited a hospital. Everyone in there, the staff, everyone lining up for their blood donations, all the regular patients. They look so utterly defeated, so terrified, except for the maternity wing. I see. I stood there watching these babies gurgling and cooing and being amazed at the world. And I realized they won't sleep badly. They will sleep peacefully. You want to know why? Why? This is the new normal. 
This is the way things are for them. They'll never know any different. They'll never know a nightmare because they live in a nightmare. And then I thought about my father. He was a veteran from the war. He had the same broken look in his eye I see in all of ours. Because he did the right thing. He fought on the front line so that I could grow up smiling without a care in the world. We need to be those soldiers, Andrew. We're fighting for something bigger than us. I'm sorry. What did you need? We have him on the line. Very well. <laughs> the new normal, Andrew. The new normal. <clears throat> you fired a missile into no man's land. A necessary action, I'm afraid. Necessary. We have an escaped criminal. We believe she has crossed over into no man's land. We may attempt to hide out there. Criminal? We have laws more ancient than yours, and not nearly as flexible. We've had incursions from your people in no man's land before. Why the call? She is a special case. Is she dangerous? To you, we are all dangerous. You're right. But if you consider something dangerous, then I know that's serious. I'll send the retrieval team in. Uh, the matter will be dealt with immediately. The Bloody Sunday Agreement prohibits anyone from no man's land, even your people. Then I trust my fugitive will not encounter any humans. We have no one in New Mexico. Very well. Then I will beat you. Farewell. Ma'am. With all Whatever respect, you're going to say, don't say it. Crossing a border, firing at our outpost, this is an act of war. I mean, how are we going to declare war when we're not supposed to be out there in the first place? What would you rather we do? Spy on them for eternity? It isn't quite the strategy called for. <laughs> Just like a damn airman. Tell me. Where were you assholes when these guys came? I didn't come here to argue about my You didn't come here for much of anything. Gentlemen, I gotta... please. What criminal? They don't have criminals. He's lying. But then so are we. What criminal act could a vampire commit? When they have fed, they function like us. Just like a normal society. One can only assume that they police themselves as much as we do. What if it's a new breed? A part of their kind we've not seen before. Or it could just be their equivalent of a bank robber. This is all guesswork. It has always been guesswork. Treason. That's surely the only crime worth a call. Whoever that girl is in the desert, she knows something. She's too important to let over the border. General, contact the Haven. And tell them what? To shut down and pull out. Ma'am, you can't be serious. I'm totally serious. But you can't no be. No buts, General. I will not risk us sparking another war. We are at war. Not yet, we're not. Right now, we have the advantage, and I want to keep it that way. They have no idea what we're planning, and we only need another week to implement it. I will not risk our long-term survival for a short-term knee-jerk reaction. This is a big Am I to find someone else? Relieve you of your command? You might want to rethink your position. Because I don't think you have the balls for this job. They're really fascinating at times, aren't they? The retrieval team is in New Mexico. Excellent. Still no word from Vigo? None. Before I assume he's either captured or killed. He would not let himself be captured. Humans will stick to the agreement. Will they? They fear us. They're still lying. About what? They have people out there. We must find out why. How do you know that? I said no man's land. She mentioned 
New Mexico specifically. The devil is in the detail, young Victor. I see. You know, when I was first war, I had an unshakable fear of the sun. I was obsessed over the heat. Nightmares about it. About the heat burning my very soul out. Then what? Then I grew to accept the sun as it was as much of part of my life as the air around us. You cannot fear that which you accept. You lose its power. So you believe they're out there? Yeah. Why? That is the question I want answered. Victor? Yes? Your man, Niall. What about him? He has gone missing. I know. He betrayed your trust. Did you forgive that? It's a great crime to kill our own kind. Punishable by death. He's a petulant fool. He's not worth killing. Is that all? Yes, Victor. Enjoy your day. Marcus. <sighs> hey, where are you going? Visiting the prisoner. Really? Yeah. You're killed, boy. I got something for you. Please don't look at me. Sorry. You shouldn't pity me. I don't. I, I, I don't deserve your pity. I just want to help. Thank you. Where did you get it? It's one of the donation bags. Of we all have to do our part to sustain the agreement. Do you donate? Yeah, we all have to. It's just the way it's always been. It must be difficult. I'm not a fan of needles. Neither am I. Really? I find that hard to believe. Even we get scared sometimes. Well, what scares you? Everything. That's normal. It is. Not really. But it proves you're alive. Thank you. Get back from the bar now. Get back. Shouldn't get too close to it. She has a name. Monsters don't have names. She's not a monster. Oh, really? Care to remind me how your mom died? Maybe I'll remind you about my brother. If you can't remember about your mom. They're very similar. You're five years old, running for his life. You see, when they get hungry, they get like animals. <sighs> Tore him apart. My kid brother. That's enough. The monster's kid. Don't you ever forget that. You won't do yourself any favors by making enemies of your own kind. Trust me. True. About your mother. Yeah. You must hate my kind. No, I don't. I. What? I fear your kind. You don't have to be afraid of me. Why? Because I died before hurting one of you. I could make an exception for her. <laughs> I'll come check on you later. Perfect spot. Perfect spot. 
I think we just found it. What's so perfect about this spot? That's where we found her. Come on. So what's next on our little fishing trip? Wait. Jerry, they're hunters, don't you think? They might be able to smell a trap. Doesn't matter. You don't put a piece of tech like that in a girl unless she's very important, whether it's a trap or not. They're coming. Yeah? You willing to bet on that? Sure. I mean, with your life, obviously. <laughs> My life? But I don't want to risk something I can't lose. Yeah, not funny. Come on, I'm gonna camp up there. Water. It's, it's Andrew. Andrew? You're alive. I am. I am. I, uh... Look, I don't have much time to explain. You're the only one I can trust. Trust? What the hell are you talking about? I haven't heard from you in so long. I, I thought you were dead. Look, I don't have much time, OK? I, do you still work for the government? What? What is it? We're launching a preemptive missile strike. What? A preemptive strike, Sheena. Tell them, OK? They have to take this seriously. We don't have another choice. Tell who? I don't understand. Andrew. Sheena. Sheena. You are in breach of quarantine. <laughs> Here's hoping. <laughs> Professor. I need an update. Marcus, we're working as hard and as fast as we can. Really? The, the formula itself, the, the matrix, it's very complex. What we're dealing with isn't just liquids. It's liquid organisms, and each has their own variables. You told me you had cracked it. We need a few days to perfect the formula. Perfect? Marcus, this isn't something that we can rush. I mean, there's so many variables, much more than I'm comfortable with. Please, do not waste my time lecturing me with what we are comfortable with. I am confident the formula is going to work. Time is a factor. Now, my family life depends on this, which means your does too. And you know I will make sure they die long before mine. Oh, yes, sir. I 
I'm not kidding. She was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. You ever had a girl look at you? Like you were her entire world. Can you see anything? Nothing. The hall straights out. I think it's getting worse. I think the infection might be spreading. We need to leave. We need to go somewhere safe. And where's that? Hey. Stop, 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 stop. Everything will be okay. You don't know that. But I like the way you say it. And so she looks at me and she says, well, as long as you're not dead. <laughs> as if that was the prerequisite of what was acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good story. If you even hear it, you're miles away. If only. <sighs> I mean, it was it's one of my best stories. Yeah, it is. And keep those stories, man. They'll keep you going. Guess. Not likely to be in a social club in the near future. Do you think the war will end? Everything ends, man. And we will win. I'll die trying. How about that? Attention all personnel. Hand to hand combat training with Corporal Luckin has been moved from 1300 hours to 1500 hours. Out of here. I couldn't take care of myself. No, you don't get it, do you? You're not a prisoner. You're an experiment. Your chance to figure out what's going on. Dad, I can get you out of here. My dad is off site. Uh, Adam, you can't. I know what the punishment is, but help me one of my kind. No, you're different, okay? Why? Because you could have escaped if you wanted to. You could have killed us all in your sleep, but you didn't. You're different. I'm not. Look, I'll go with you as far as I can to get you off site, okay? And home safe. No, I can't go home. I don't want to go home. Are you going to get out of here? No. No. Adam, I can't. Out there, in the desert, I need to feed. It'll consume me. I would rather die than do that. You reached London? You sure of it? I'd recognize her voice anywhere. Oh my God, Andrew, how? I use a satellite phone. That's against the law. It's against quarantine law, not our law. Thank you. Would you like a drink? Sure. Thank you, ma'am. Are you a praying man, Andrew? Not usually. Well, I think it's time to start. If we hear from London. Then I'll call off the strike. And if we don't hear anything? I wish I knew how to answer that, Andrew. I really do. I feel like I'm holding a gun to the world's head and I'm about ready to pull the trigger. It might be a good thing for all of humanity. Would it? Really? Or are we just trying to justify this before we've even done it? We can't stand on the edge of an abyss and do nothing to save ourselves. No, you're right. But history will judge us for these actions. I'd rather die myself than get this one wrong. I know you can break these bars down, but if you even think about trying, I'm gonna blow his head off. 
Every young man deserves the right to get hurt by a girl. Getting your heart broken is just a rite of passage. I think he's gonna take it real bad when you're the one who meets his heart. His father will be back. Yeah. But tragedy so often happens in the Haven. Attention all personnel. Please ensure all vehicles inside are unlocked. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Oh my god. Not so sweet on her now, are you? My father's gonna. Your father's soft. Don't get me wrong. I think he's a great man. But you're gonna get us killed, and I can't risk that. You can't do this. <sighs> Have you ever seen them when they starve? Yeah, they get a frenzy on. I need the blood back. <laughs> Honey, the only person that wanted to give you blood is in there with you. Is that true? Honey, I wouldn't get too close to him. It's not nice to play with your food. <laughs> How long have I got? Hours. Hours, I don't know. You know, I'd die here alone with you quite happy. But it's bigger than us. He's just a child. Okay. So we make it easy. We'll never think of ourselves. Not once, ever. We'll only think about Adam. What's best for him? Okay? Okay. Now, with that thought in your head, are you afraid? <laughs> no, right? See, I did it. You always know what to say. Where would I be without that smooth talking British accent? Well, you probably wouldn't have got pregnant with Adam. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you, too. Something's not right. What's that? They should have been here by now. Perhaps it's a false alarm. Maybe she's just not as important as you think she is. No. No, she is. Somebody's looking for her. She's somebody's daughter. <laughs> daughter. She's probably older than both of us combined. Perhaps they just haven't set off yet. No. Something's wrong. You know, the wind is constantly changing directions, Jerry. I'm not worried about the wind. Unless it whips up into a sandstorm, don't I'll be out here in one of those. If only you could predict the way in which the wind blows. Well, you could adjust yourselves to survive. I don't think that we'll win this war, Jerry. They're stronger than us. Have you ever seen one of those things in a frenzy? Max, we can beat them. I heard that you just show some kind of loyalty. Then you can be hurt. What are you talking about? Get down, Max, they'll see you. You can live forever. I'm so sorry, Jerry. Don't. You know how good I am with this weapon. Throw it away. Throw it away! The other one. The other one. Hurry up, throw it away. Put it down. Think. Max, I'm your friend. Think about all of this for just one minute. We're losing now, Jerry. We are going to lose. What sense does it make being on the side that's going to be slaughtered? Max, what have you done? Victor, we've confirmed Yvonne's location. She's in no man's land, in a human compound. I see. In a human compound. You're right. They are out there. There's a humans offering us a trade for his own safety. Of course. What do you want to do? There should not be any humans in no man's land. Send them in. Kill everyone. I see. And 
the man that offered the trade. No, I don't want a disloyal dog. Understood. Is there anything else? No survivors. Marcus. Madam President, Dr. Mudd needs a moment of your time. Can it wait? No, it can't. Samantha, how are you? I'm fine, Madam President. Is there somewhere private we can talk? <laughs> it must be bad news. Madam President, I only saw you last week for my physical. And right now, when I asked you how you were, you didn't reciprocate. Not much gets past you. I am president, Samantha. If something gets past me, people usually end up dead. Maybe you should have a seat. No, I'm good, Sam. I think I'll take this one standing up. As you know, we do a full set of blood work for all your annual physicals. We test for everything. This time, one thing came back positive. Cut to it, Sam. Margaret, you have leukemia. Would you believe that's not the worst news I've had today? So, how long? It's in the advanced stages. There are many courses of treatment available, some more aggressive than others. How long? Well, if we go with chemo, we could possibly extend your life several years. Um, but we could also look at bone marrow or stem cell transplant. These treatments all sound like they'd take me away from my job. How long if we do nothing? If we do nothing, Madam President, you may only have a month, maybe two. Thank you, Sam. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a job to do. Madam President, you can't continue to work under this condition. That'll be all, Dr. Mudd. Careful, Jerry. So that's what's going on here? Hmm? You sold me out? Your friend? What's the going rate for a unit commander? I got a good rate, Jerry. I'm sure you'll get your 30 pieces of silver. How long do I have before I get here? How long do I have? Who says anything about here, Jerry? I switched the tracker. That thing you had in your hand? A hunk of metal with a flashing light. My god. Yeah. The original's still back at the Haven. But Adam. I didn't have a choice, Jerry. Oh, Max. Max, they'll all be killed! For Christ's sake, these are your people! I did what I had to do! What are you talking about, Max? You didn't have to do anything! You could have talked to me! I was your friend, Jerry, I would have helped you. Jerry, it'll all be over soon, okay? You don't have to worry, it'll all be over soon, okay? Enjoy your dinner. Max, please, please, Max, please. They're the ones that are going to last. They can cross over the border anytime they want to. Wipe us out. It takes 10 of us, 10 of our guys, if we're just lucky to kill one of them. The planet, Jerry, is theirs now. Now it's not for reason. Please, Max, listen to me. I don't care about the whole world, but my son. Please, Max. Please, 
<laughs> and I'm sorry as hell about that one, Jerry. I really am. <laughs> you know that I lost the person I love the most in the world. Please don't take my son. Do you want to save him? Your son, Jerry. Of course I do, Max. Then stand with me. Deliver the girl, and maybe they'll show us some kind of leniency. And what, Max? What? They'll turn us? It's one of them. All channels to anyone receiving this is Haven Base. We are under attack. We need reinforcements immediately. Come in. It's forever, Jerry. Forever. You, your son, you can live forever. You don't have to worry about protecting him all the time in this world, Jerry. It's theirs, not ours. We can live. We can live. No, Max. Because it's not living. That's real disappointing, Jerry, because I really did like you. Get up! How many of them are there? How many? I, I don't know. I trusted you, Max. We all did. Get on your knees. Get on your knees! We're, we're, we're still friends, Jerry. Just nice think about it. Think, Jerry. Close your eyes. You no. think about what you did. Close your eyes! Lie. Let's not blow this out of proportion, Sheena. Out of proportion? What, the fact that there are survivors or the fact the government hid that there are survivors? Well, we cannot confirm for certain that there's any humans left in the United States or not. I'm not a child, Matthew. And don't act like one. Satellite surveillance would have shown that there were survivors. No, it's no wonder that your department has had access restricted for so long. We can see that there are people moving around in the cities. Whether they're vampires or humans, it's impossible to distinguish. Shh. Bullshit. Infrared scans would have shown whether or not they were normal temperature or cold. All right, look, sit down. <sighs> what I'm about to tell you is subject to the Official Secrets Act, which you've signed. This goes no further. Do you understand? There are humans living on the West Coast and vampires on the East Coast. In the middle is no man's land that keeps everyone apart. So what's stopping the vampires from attacking? They've come to an agreement with the remaining human government. The humans provide donated blood to sustain the undead, and everyone leaves everyone alone. So the remaining survivors are the only food source. Can you imagine what that's like for them? These creatures could have spread everywhere. Quarantine was the only option. What if that was us left behind? Would you be so understanding then? Of course not, but we have to protect ourselves. No, you're worried about the monsters behind quarantine. I'm worried about the one in this room. It's not as simple as that, and you know it. Really? As far as I can see it, all of the people in the world we thought were dead are actually alive and well. Alive, yes. Well, no. That would be a stretch of the truth, wouldn't you say? Really? Look, the people that are left alive over there are just livestock for the vampires. That's all. They're food. 
The vampires will eventually have their fill and then... And then what? Doesn't matter. So what, the rest of the world just sits idly by while they're killed slowly? And then what, you make peace with the vampires? Nuke them? There will be millions of innocent lives lost either way. It's collateral damage, Sheena. I can't believe what I'm hearing. It doesn't matter what you believe. The fact is, containment costs the world one trillion euros a year. We have an obligation to keep that containment up. This is insane. It's an insane world. How did you know? That's irrelevant. He's still alive. Well, I'm impressed. You must still hold a government position. Matthew, they're still out there. And somehow they've survived this long. There must be something we can do. There is nothing we can do to help these people. So that's it? OK. What if they aren't willing to give up so easily? Now, what exactly do you mean by that? A counteroffensive. From the humans, they haven't got the numbers. Nuclear? Nuclear? No, impossible. The US Army was overrun, and all these silos were disarmed by the president before he was killed. And you're sure of that? Look, why can't you train your satellites onto their silos? Look for nuclear signals, radiation. What then? This conversation is over. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got an important meeting. I don't know what that could be about. For 10 years, we have needed the humans. When we began this gentle truce, this so-called bloody Sunday agreement, we needed their blood to feed our thirst. But all things that have a beginning have an end. Our family has evolved from lurking in the shadows to a new status quo. Now we must change again before the humans have time to regroup. We are cut off from the world. No doubt, guns pointing towards us, wanting, waiting. One thing I have learned in my time is that you cannot cage a wild beast forever. We cannot take much more from the humans. They are already on and these. We can. We will. What do you want them to do? I want them to die. <laughs>